hey, how's everybody doing? I hope you're doing great. So if you've followed me a little bit, you know that I have have a love-hate relationship with Adobe. I love their products. I don't like their pricing schemes. I don't really like the bundles. I don't really, there's a lot of things I don't like. Um, so I've been looking for a Lightroom alternative, at least for the iPad at this moment, because right now that is my main uh, photo editing machine is the iPad, and I'm really liking it. So anyways, one thing that um, I have found, one app that I have found is called Darkroom. Now, this thing looks fairly similar in its layout to your Photos app. You have all of your uh, categories. You have your live photos, your portraits, selfies. I, I like to take selfies. Anyway, screenshots. You have all this stuff. Uh, videos. You can edit some video in here. It's mostly going to be like color, I think. I haven't really like tried to make a video. But let's just play around with this video. But So, like, if I... Yeah, you can edit your clips and, you know, do some color grading on the clips inside of this application, which some people might find really helpful. I like having all these sliders, so if I can color grade these the way I want before I import them into Final Cut, that might be a benefit. I don't know yet. Still kind of new to this application, but so far, I'm really enjoying it. Um... Let's, let's look at some photos from my trip to Pahuska a little while ago. There's some in here that I haven't haven't worked on. You know, you know, not every photo is a is a masterpiece. You know what I mean? And I had to get some had to get some new shots in my new truck. You know. Anyways, uh, let's just pick this pick this one. So they were feeding, couldn't really see their head, but no big deal. So there's a lot of different options in here you can do uh your 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 regular sliders and adjustments you got your s curve you have uh some colorations like you can pick a color so let's like let's pick green let's get the hue over let's saturate up just the greens a little bit and let's make it a little darker uh blue for the sky let's saturate it let's bring that down let's make that darker so you can do a bunch of different things. They, they also have some film presets. Or that's what it looks like anyway. Some like different films. So I really like this one. This T100. It's one of my favorite looks. Um, but then do they have cinematic looks. Which that might be pretty cool on some of the video clips. I'm going to have to play around with that. But then they have Insta Films and like X-Pro. Um... They have a bunch of different presets. I'm, I'm really liking this application. I've been using it for a few days now. It is free. I will say it is free, but you can pay, and I don't know. I've already unlocked it. So I did the $32 a year the, because the $4.99 a month, while if you just need it, one or two months out of the year or whatever, that's fine. But it ends up being like 60 bucks a year. This is about half off if you do $32 every year, or you can just pay 75 bucks once, and it's yours forever. But they have a lot of, um, they have a lot of different settings in here. I haven't really messed around with any of that just yet. I've just kind of been playing with the application to kind of learn how to edit. And man, let me tell you, this is an Oklahoma photo. You got bison and oil on a plane. That's an Oklahoma photo. You know what I mean? So anyways, I hope you guys found this informative. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to play around with this app some more. And maybe we'll come up with some videos. But this is just kind of my initial look. I've edited probably 10 or 15 photos off of it. I haven't really done any video. But maybe I'll grade some video and then put those clips together and show you in another video. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a great weekend or week. And we'll see you next time. Peace out.